You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? All right, good evening. I'm going to do a little quick video, and uh, I hope y'all listen to this. This is one of the, this is a shop tool that every CB operator needs. If you're going to be getting in radios, amplifiers, uh, anything that's DC related, uh, preamps, uh, uh, Caps, super caps, batteries. Uh, I even charge my some of my batteries to like drills and stuff that I can't find uh, the chargers to it because my dumbass that I lost it. I even char charge the batteries for that. I even uh, trickle charge the batteries for my uh, uh, some 9 volt batteries, some 1.5 amp batteries, some of my trickle charge them uh, with this handy dandy little off the shelf. Uh, now these things have went up because of Joe Biden, like everything else, he's going to uh, forgive uh, college loans. Yeah, right. But this thing is so handy. You can take and build an amplifier and take this and hook it up, the leads up to it, and uh, you can hook it up to the amplifier before you hook it up to a regular power supply. Hook it up to this, and if it's a dead short, then it'll show it. Start going up with your voltage, of course you're going to have some kind of little draw in it because lights. See, you went up 2 milliamps, 4, 8, 9, 10 milliamps because of the uh, bulbs in, in that side of the amplifier. But this thing is so good for so many different things. Uh, you run the voltage up. This is a 30 uh, zero to 30 volt and uh, 5 amp, 0 to 5 amp. Of course, if you had a short, the amp meter would show a dead short like this. See that dead short? It's 12 volt. Let's go up to 14.5. Alright, got a short. There's a short. So, and this will not hurt the uh, the diode inside there. Uh, because it didn't really feed through it at that point in time. But like a radio. I've had radios and I've done a little modification to it. Say, put an echo in it or something other like that. And, of course, I hooked this up to it before. Turn it on, you're going to get a little bit. That's my, my pussy. Uh, you're going to get a little bit because of the lights and different little things running inside the radio. Well, uh, if it's getting a lot, you can go back through and make sure you got some good eyewear. I like these to see in radios and everything. Uh, 1.5 that's got threes and everything with them. It's not very expensive. These used to be like $22, $23 for this little unit here. Now they're $55 to $60 for this little unit here. You find them still. Uh, some you find cheaper than this. You want one with voltage and amperage. 
and uh, they make a little 15 volt one which is really good it's really one I wanted was just 0 to 15 volt and uh, being it you know if you want to hook a cap up to it a super cap or something like it and then if you hook it up backwards it ain't gonna hurt nothing it won't blow the cap because it, it'll show a dead short but if you want to uh, charge that cap you run it up to say whatever you want it to 14 it's actually only a 16 volt cap but a whole more than that and that cap is already charged well you, this is 10,000 10,000 uh, microfarad uh, pretty good little cap it's only 15, 16 volt, but uh, it holds some power. It'll be what it is. But it charged it down real quick. You can charge a super cap with it. You can do so many things with this thing. Anything that's, like I said, you know, 12, 16, up to 30 volt related. You can do so much stuff with this thing. It's very helpful. This is even better than this meter here this this is really handy too any uh, multimeter but I try to get one with some of the features on it um, temperature is really good um, I got it for capacitance but it's not that good with capacitance I had to get that's probably one of the best meters I've bought yet and that was thanks to Fat Cat. Cat Fat Cat, I, well, I've been looking these up, but I didn't know that this was a really good purchase. And Fat Cat went out and purchased one. And so I didn't know him at the time, and that's how me and him got to talking. But I asked him about this meter, and he said he loved it. So I got it. But I've made a, different a few uh, different things forward I got some that's longer made with 3 16 coax and everything but this is probably one of the best things I've bought that and a flare but uh this thing right here is well worth the money if you can get one get one you used or whatever uh Find one and get it. I got this one and it actually came with these two ends and everything on it. It was used, but it, it just been opened and used like three or four little times, they said. And then he put it in the box and he got a bigger one. Uh, Radio Garage got a really nice one, a B, BK, BMK, BK, whatever it is, a really nice one. But I can't afford his stuff. But, uh, this is a really nice unit. You hook a radio up to it, and if it's got a short in it, you find a short. You take this with you to a, a ham fest. You can hook this up to a, a amplifier. If it's got a short in it, maybe not buy it. You can hook, uh, hook it up to a power inverter. It don't pull a lot. A little simple, little power inverter. Hook it up to it. Uh, you can check all different kinds of things with this thing. This is really handy. With that uh, voltage and that amperage, you can do a lot of things. Uh, hell, you could check for a shorted transistor. Uh, it's just so many different things you can do. It's just, this is one of my go-to things on my table. You need to get one. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing this up uh, is because Walkie Talkie, a friend of mine, uh, I just fixed a power supply and an amplifier, or checked out the amplifier. It's Dave made six bill and a two by eight. Uh, he bought you know an estate sale or something other. If you ever seen his equipment for sale, buy it because he's 
get some really nice stuff. But he hooked the amplifier up backwards to the six film. And I don't think he heard it because uh, it blew the uh, the fuse inside the amplifier because of the diodes in the uh, amp. But if you short that out, that diode, you short it out, uh, it then becomes a strap if it don't blow. Sometimes they'll close instead of staying open. They only let voltage go one way, but if they close, I call it a strap. I don't know what other people call it. I seem to call things weird things, but uh, and I see things different than other people sometimes, and my rationality is different than other people's, but that's good to have. Everybody thought Tesla was stupid. Everybody thought he had some weird ideas and some weird things. You know, they uh, they run that man down like it wasn't a, like it. Probably one of the most he was one of the most beneficial men in uh, the world. This world would not be possible if it wouldn't be for him. Or the technology this world's got. AC. Uh, alternating current. Mm. I think a lot about him. Um, <laughs> wish I was a tenth as smart as he was. A smidget. Shit. He's far at smarter things than than I've been, but anyways, uh, get one of these. It ain't gotta be this brand. Be anything zero to thirty, five amp, ten amp, anything. I'd say five amp, three amp. It, it's just gotta. This will run a little Cobra Twenty Nine or something other, but not really good. But it'll do more than you think. It's only 5 amp, but it actually put out more than 5 amp, but uh, you can check for a short inside that radio. So you know, went inside that and I dropped a little bead of solder, and you can actually hook this up to that radio and turn it up and let it set there, and, and of course, if you got a flare going with a flare, and you can see that spot getting hot. And you could find that spot. I mean, or you could fill it with your hand. Uh, this thing has saved me thousands and thousands. I got two of them, and I wish I had another one. They're one of the best things you'll have. So, getting back to walkie-talkies, he hooked it up backwards, he said, and it blew the fuse, which I didn't hear no more about it. So, I'm guessing that... Uh, it didn't hurt the amplifier, do it? It surely would have called me. And surely it didn't hurt the power supply. But it could have shorted out the diode, and then that's all they needed was a diode put in it. And but if you hook it, so hook up something, and that diode smokes, and then you know it, it becomes a strap. It becomes solid. Um, so when you hook the power up, it goes to ground. So whatever's in that line, it's going to take all that to ground. And it'll mess up all that circuit. So if you ever hook up one backwards, like a radio, take it to somebody if you don't know how to fix it and get them to fix it. Don't hook it back up the right way and think it's going to work then because it's done when in the dives that went into a short and uh to protect it it went to ground and blowed the fuse and done what it's supposed to do but if you hook it back up it's gonna go well you know if you put it with a little fuse again it'll pop that fuse again and most people say well let's go up to a 30 amp fuse I suppose they only have a five amp well they'll throw a 30 in there and just burn traces out through the board and then you got a hell of a mess believe me i know i done it 
when I first got into this, I, I'm one of them type people that pulls things apart that I never, never, ever, ever been inside of it. Never been inside of it. But I'll pull it apart and fix it. I'll try to. Sometimes I don't. I'm better about fixing it now than I used to be. But if you don't try to do something, you will never, ever, ever do it. You've got to try. I mean, would you actually really want to walk around with a dirty ass all day when you could at least try to wipe your ass? I mean, you got to do it. It's You can be lazy and just not do it. I'm about that way, but... Take it apart. Try to fix it. Uh, maybe you can, maybe you can't. And if it's broke, it's still broke. If you fixed it, good job. But this right here is this, this, good sorting station, and I mean a good one. These, I've had to go back to this one because I've lost my tips. These are really good. Really good. The only thing about them that my other sorting stations do that this don't do, that I wish this really would do, but $400, you cannot beat it. Fat Boy's got some really nice sorting stations that use the same uh, consumables, use the same wand and everything. The only thing about it, you will burn these tips up. I got some that's better than this one. This is a cheap one, but it's bigger. Uh, but you will burn these tips up. Because if you set it at 700 degrees, it will stay at 700 degrees. Even though you don't put it back on the stand. You don't put it back on the stand. It's still sitting at 700, 700, 700. Whatever you got it set at, it'll still set that that. So it'll burn that tip up. My other stations, when you lock, when you put that thing in, it's got a magnet inside this one. Now, my mat cow don't. I need to do a video on this one. It's they're somewhat sponsoring me, I guess. I hadn't got any more of the elements. Now these tell this machine what temperature to get. But it's a magnet in here. See that? It's a magnet in there. And when you set this... Uh, When you set this in here, it's almost, <sighs> this one's bad. This one I think still works, but this one works. Uh, I only got two that works, but when you put this in here, that thing kind of like goes to sleep. It'll go down to like uh, 400 degrees or something other like it, 500, all depends what element you got. I think it drops about 200 degrees. But when you stick it in there, it goes down in temperature. But when you pick it back up, it goes, it rises really quick and goes back to whatever this element says. But this don't have any adjustment on this. The temperature is by this element. And I think this is around 600 to 700 degrees. It, uh, I think. But, uh, I use this one a lot. My mat cow really loved that one. But, uh, I can't afford the tips for it. Or the, uh, elements. It has elements too. And those are about 45 bucks a piece because it's a new unit. The mat cow's only been out for a couple of years. So the elements are high. These right here, I think I can get them for like $19 a piece. But, uh, I'm supposed to be sponsored by this company. I got this unit, uh, to test it out. And it's been really good. 
It's not as hot as my Mac cow. My Mac cow is 120 uh, watt. This one's only like 50 or 60 watt, but it does a really good job. And it heats at the uh, tip. I think this is the only part that heats from here down. It actually puts all the heat here. But uh, this one is burnt up. This one is burnt up. One of the best ones. Of course, the bigger tip, the more heat when you transfer it over to something. Uh, when you touch it to this, because this is big and that's big, the little, of course, it's going to make it hot really quicker. Uh, but this has to get this hot. But it's more surface area, so it does more. But I'm getting off of everything. But walkie-talkie, you need to buy you one of these. Buy it while you can, why, before the rest of Joe Biden screws up every damn thing else and they're a hundred. Uh... Like I said, I think I gave about $27, $28 for that and shipped to the door when I got this one. There's the name on it. But this is one of the good ones. You can find one with a different name on it. They make them with everything. I mean, they made the same, but make sure it's got amperage and voltage. Uh, 0 to 30, 0 to 15, 0 to 20, anything in that range. And uh, 5 amp, 3 amp, uh, I'd say 5 to 10 amp would probably be best. I've seen very few uh, 10 amps. But get you one of them. And being that you're dealing a lot of radios and stuff, this will be beneficial to what you do. And I appreciate you. A lot of... Uh, You put a lot of people, you and Maytag, put a lot of people back on the radio. And that's a good thing. It's a good hobby to be in. Just get the right equipment when you get it. And everybody needs this. If you're going to deal in any little thing. And everybody, when you get CB, you go going to get another radio. You gonna find one at the yard sale. Uh, somebody's gonna give you something, but uh, and pretty much everybody I know does their own work. But if you happen to hook it up, hook a radio up backwards, and you want to go in there and try to fix it yourself, uh, this will be a handy for that too. Because when you pull that part out of there. You can actually leave this hooked up, turn the amp, turn the voltage all the way down, desorter of that part, pull that part out, turn this up, and if you don't see any amperage draw, no more than a light bulb, like 0.4 of an amp, you done, you done found a short. Replace that diode, keep up which way it goes in, replace that diode, sort it in right, Turn the voltage back up on this. See what you get through there. Uh, and you fixed it. And you don't have to get nobody else to do it for you. Alright then. Y'all have a good day. Light up.